but uh, fog is everywhere, including between my uh, ears. Uh, we are going to see that, that dense fog. And again, freezing to the roadway. As you head out, please use caution. Allow extra time. 34 degrees, so we're not going to get much above freezing. Wind southeast 5 to 10, but look what happens tonight. Those winds start gusting in excess of 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow is going to be a windy day, and we'll be under a wind advisory throughout much of Wednesday. So 25 right now, light winds. Again, not as dense fog here as it is in Coeur d'Alene, where we see these numbers coming together. Uh, again, just along for extra time. We had uh, several accidents a couple days ago because of, again, ice on the roadway from what? The freezing fog, freezing to the bridge decks, and those on and off ramps coming onto I-90. So we do have this system coming in, and it has quite a bit of moisture to it. Here's the key. It's going to the south. So the southern Cascades into Yakima Valley, uh, all the way up into the Wenatchee, and then it's going to continue to move southward. It will come wrap around through Boise and then make its way up into Montana, wrapping around us. We'll have a little bit. So this is this afternoon. You're really going to see this thing kick through Oregon, northern California. Higher elevation Sierras are going to get hammered. Then we're going to see it roll up. And again, we're not going to see a lot of that snow in our region, nor in our ski areas. And that's sort of the sad part, okay? 34 for the high today, 33 Deer Park. Moses Lake 39, Yakima 39. So it's those higher elevations picking up some of that. Here is your seven-day forecast. And I got to tell you, the travel situation going to Grandma's house, windy conditions, higher elevation snows, and then coming home, looking much better. Friday 28, Saturday 30, sunny, high pressure dominating, cloud cover, and mellow for Sunday and Monday. With